Hello and welcome to WePC. Now you've likely clicked on this video because you're having issues trying to play games on Windows 11. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to fix the .NET framework not working within Windows 11 error, specifically when trying to launch games on Steam that do require .NET. When trying to launch a game, you will quickly be prompted to download the .NET Framework 3.5, and when you agree to the install, the installation fails with the error code on screen now. So does this sound familiar? Well, that's because this has been an error in Windows stemming all the way back to Windows 7. So on to the fix then. There's a few ways that you can go around this. So to maximize your chances of getting it fixed, we're going to show you all that we know. Firstly, try to download the newest version of .NET Framework. To do this, simply navigate over to Microsoft's website. The link will be in the description to make it easier for you and make sure to download the version 4.8. This is the latest version at the time of recording this video, and it's normally the very top option. Next, just drag that to your desktop and try to run it. Now, if the installation succeeds for you, then great, go ahead and enjoy your game. But if you're anything like us and get met with the reassuring message of .NET Framework 4.8 or a later update is already installed on this computer, then don't worry because we have a few more tricks for you to try. So next, we can try and use Microsoft's .NET Repair Tool a feature that breaks so much that it also requires its own repair tool. Again, head over to the relevant website, the link will be in the description down below, and download the tool. Repeat these steps from last time, dragging the repair tool to the desktop and running it. Just agree to the licensing and follow the steps until you get met with changes complete. Now, you're free to try reinstalling the faulty .NET Framework update once again. Now, if this also fails again, then we can get a little more technical and head over to our search bar and type turn Windows features on or off. And at the very top of the list, we will see any versions of .NET framework installed on your PC. As you can see, we evidently have .NET Framework 3.5, so go ahead and try to enable it by checking the checkbox, clicking OK, and then telling Windows to update to download the files for you. For us, however, this does not work, and we get met with the same error as using the standalone installer. Next are the final two steps that should solve the problem if none of the previous steps have already. What you need to do is navigate to the search bar again and type CMD. Right click on command prompt and select run as administrator. So now all you want to do is type SFC slash scan now. This is Windows built-in system file checker and will scan the OS for any errors or corrupt files. If Windows finds nothing, we're down to our final step. Also, don't panic too much if Windows does find something, as it is actually normal to have a couple of errors on a well-used PC. Please note for this last step, you will need your bootable USB install media for Windows 11, and you will also need to know its drive letter. Ours happens to be the E drive, so we'll need to remember that for the next command. So back in the command prompt then. We're going to want to type this command that's on screen now. Now I'll be sure to put that in the description as literally nobody has the time to manually type that out. But, and this is important, remember how I asked you to remember your install media's drive letter? Well, this is where you're going to need to replace the letter quoted after the slash source with your drive letter you have for your install. So our letter is E for the E drive, so our command becomes slash source E. This is just a deployment image service and management command that in very short words is basically being asked to install only a specific feature from a Windows install. This of course being the .NET framework. Allow that command to run until you see the words the operation has completed successfully. And then now one of these fixes should have worked for you the last one of which had the most success in the majority of cases, but I just wanted to cover all the available bases for you. So there we go then, that was how to fix .NET Framework on Windows 11. If it helped you at all, we would love if you could leave a like and subscribe to our channel if you are new. Also head to the description down below as you will find our WePC Discord where you can come and ask us any questions relating to videos or whatever it may be. I've been Jay, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.